Hi, welcome to Linux and Windows Help. This is episode 6. Um, you notice I installed, um, this is the Linux Mint 18. Uh, my hard drive failed and I just uh, got done formatting and I added more RAM to the computer. So hopefully it would actually, you know, do better now without locking up while I'm doing these uh, tutorials. Uh, this episode we're going to be doing, uh, we're going to be using Microsoft Windows. And we're going to be uh, installing uh, antivirus software and showing you how to remove viruses and go into safe mode. Okay, I got uh, I got Windows XP loaded up on a virtual machine here, and um, I'm going to need you to download these things. I already got them downloaded except for one. I got this one downloaded already. I got this one downloaded. Uh, I this is what I searched for to find it. Because it might it might change uh, you know the destination, it might change online or you know a different site might carry it. But this is what I searched for on like Google, and this is what I searched for AVG free download, and then I got this and I got it downloaded. This is the only one I haven't uh, installed yet, or I mean downloaded yet, because I'm going to show you uh, like where it downloads to. This is usually the default directory right here. See how I got the other two in there already? It's in uh, your My Documents and Downloads. It's usually the default directory. But it depends on your browser and what you, you got set up as. But whenever you download something, that's, uh, that's where it usually goes. Come on, Firefox. All right. You know, it's like on this one, it's the free version. You always want to aim for that, unless you want to pay for the uh, professionals or whatever. But I would, I'm a, I'm a cheapskate, so I don't pay for antivirus software, or any software, almost that matter. I use free open source software. Like, see, this is a uh, when I'm using Firefox. This is how it works. Um, if you're using like Microsoft Edge or something, it's a little different. It's pretty much the same. You'll notice it's going into our folder right here. It hasn't downloaded fully downloaded yet. There. So you just finish and it's downloaded. Perfect. Let's go ahead and another look at those show notes. This is all the three things I downloaded. This is the destination I downloaded from. And this is what I searched to get those. So don't close that down. And we'll close the web browser down. So these three things we we uh, downloaded. I'm gonna install MBAM first. This is um, malware bytes. English. And I guess whatever language you speak. I accept. Next, 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 next. Treat that stuff Next, next. Next! Yeah, I don't read anything. It sounded good. They're probably gonna come later and get my kidneys, so. It looked good, anyways. Come on, my wire. This is the main thing on the malware bytes. You want to get rid of this unless you want to buy it, you know. Because if you enable the free trial, then it's going to want you to pay for it at the end of 30 days, and then you're going to have to, you know, re download it and install it because it's broke. Now, if you pay for it, it's pretty good. If you want to pay for one, it's, it's a good one to pay for. But we're going to go ahead and launch it, I guess.
Yeah, this video is going to take forever because I'm actually installing things. <laughs> but whenever you uh, you first install it, you see how it's, it's uh, updating its database? That's what you want it to do. Um, see, an antivirus can't actually find a virus. It, it compares files to a database. So you want to make sure you update that database every time you use it. Otherwise, you know, a new virus could be made today, or a new virus could be made and your computer will not find it. So. Alright, so. Well, I went ahead and canceled the installation of that. We don't need to. That's what you. I'll install it later, but um, you make sure you don't enable free trial. Then you want to install CC Cleaner. What AVG is, the reason why we installed two antivirus, you might be wondering that, AVG is a free, um, it's a free shield. Basically it runs all the time and um, it will prevent viruses from even installing. That's what you want. You know, you want to prevent those, you want to prevent the viruses from installing. So, uh, CC cleaner, you can use the regular cleaner, it cleans out all the, uh, you can run the cleaner, it'll clean out the temporary info files and all that junk, but um, you don't really want to worry about that. Uh, the only thing I use CC cleaner for is the registry cleaner. And basically it just scans your registry for all these, for errors that will slow down your computer. And you just hit scan for issues on that one. That's really cool. Especially after you uh, run an antivirus and it deletes viruses, you're going to want to run this too because it will uh, clean up your registry from all the damage that the viruses did. And it, it sometimes speeds up your computer like 20 times over, you know. And you said fix selected, fix selected issues. And then it asks you, do you want to back up changes to the registry? I never, I never backed it up. And it's fix all selected issues. And it's done. That's all you use CC Cleaner for. That's all I use CC Cleaner for. Like I said, you want to install AVG Cleaner, or I mean AVG uh, Antivirus. Um, I'm not going to run through that, but you just install that, and um, it'll run all the time. Well, CC Cleaner runs all the time now too. Awesome. But um, that's pretty cool. I didn't know CC. Yeah, that's a new one. I guess I haven't used it in a long time. But you want to install AVG as well, and it'll run all the time. Now, here's the next thing, part of this tutorial, is going into safe mode. If you're using uh, Windows XP, Vista 7, something like that, it's pretty, it's really easy to get into safe mode. You can either reboot from here, or you can like turn off your computer and, and start it. So I'm just going to restart from here. As it restarts, you want to tap F8. You don't want to hold it down and you get a stuck key error. You just want to tap it really fast. Like, as fast as you can. Off on, off on, off on, off on. Like right now. And you come to the screen. And you want to choose safe mode with networking. Because uh, it allows you to go to web pages and stuff. And also, if you don't have all these things installed, you can install it from here as well. And what safe mode is, it's loading the computer with, you know, nothing running. It, it bypasses the registry, it bypasses the startup. You don't have anything running, and the viruses is not running as well. So it's easy to remove viruses and stuff like that. So it works out pretty good. Like I said, if you're, win if you're using Windows XP, Vista, or 7, all you got to do is tap F8, and it goes in there. And then you want to run your antivirus. You want to run your antivirus software here. This is the best place to do it. Hit click yes. 
here is where you want to install or here's where you want to run your antivirus and remember you still update it and everything this is where you want to run it uh, if you're using like Windows uh, 8 or 10 you just search up safe mode Windows 10 Windows 8 so you can learn more about it but anyways there's there's multiple ways to get in the safe mode but they're they're a pain like uh, as you're running it if you hold the shift key and and then go to restart you will boot in the safe mode they just made it harder to get in there I mean it, it's silly because there's another option you can um, you can make a um, like a recovery USB so when before your computer crashes you can make a recovery USB drive but you gotta make sure you make it before your computer crashes otherwise you know if you, you if your computer's not booting into Windows 10 how are you gonna hold the shift key and click restart if it's not booting up silly ain't it you gotta make it to where you have to take your computer to a technician to get it fixed or you just buy a new computer basically with another license of Windows and I hate Windows I hate Microsoft <laughs> that's what they do they want you to they want to sell you so there you go and also I searched up safe mode Windows 10 it's the same way as Windows 8 pretty much basically the same you want to create you know you want to create a restore disk before it crashes before it crashes that's your best bet alright that's pretty much it guys um, you want to run your like I said you want to run it in uh, safe mode because no viruses is running and after you're done you can restart it and it should boot up right into your regular windows and it should be virus free hopefully some viruses are more stubborn than others and sometimes you have to manually remove it or sometimes you have to format it destroys so much So hopefully um, he was able to get in the safe mode because some viruses destroy the ability to get in safe mode as well and that's a sucky time right there you just gotta format if for some reason you can't get in there and you you got files you need to back up you can use a live Linux CD you pop it in your CD-ROM drive and you can um, you know uh, back up your files using the Linux drag it to your USB drive or whatever and this would be a virus free windows right now if we actually ran them and everything alright thank you guys for watching Please like the video, please share it, and I hope your Windows computer is fixed. Um, if you was watching this to actually remove your viruses, I hope your computer is now fixed. Thank you.